Okay, welcome back to the second video in this tell-all about watercolor. Okay, so <clears throat> I've put all of this in. This You have these controls up in your um, brush property bar that you can show or hide the marquee. So if I turn that off, the marquee is the little marching ants going around the outside area. If I turn that back on, that's showing, and if I turn off this other one, the little red area is not showing. The red shows you everywhere that there is um, a selection. Okay, so I want them both on there. It helps me see what I'm fixing to do. And the next thing I'm going to do is find something like maybe soft cloud or fractal. Let's try a soft cloud first. And what I'm going to do up here is change this plus, which when that's selected under the mode, it means I can keep adding selections and they won't go away. If that's not selected, I can only make one selection at a time. If I start another one, it goes away. This is subtract from selection. So I want to work in this middle part and subtract some stuff out of that selection. So the brush is going to need to be a lot smaller, about like that, I would say. And because I have this uh, set as negative, when I come in here to paint, you see it's going to take out some of the stuff. But I want it to be kind of like a, you know, something uh, softer in there, not really, and maybe we'll do a little bit heavy right there where the where it kind of goes back up into the flower. We'll do it a little bit more over there. Yeah. Okay, so now that kind of takes it back up into the flower. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to come up to select, and I'm going to save selection, and I will call it flower, F-L-O-W-E-R, and say, okay. Now, if I were going to be doing leaves and all that kind of stuff, I would do the whole thing. You know, I would uh, make this all come out. Now, when I'm working, saving these selections, and I work with multiple selections, I'll be working on multiple layers. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is come up to select and invert selection. So now what is selected is all this stuff around the flower. And I'm going to go in here and go to select, uh, save selection, and we will call it inverse flower. And we will say OK. Now, I'm going to do something else here. We've got some nice kind of stuff going here, but I don't want this to be just a solid color back here. So I'm going to come up here again to the south uh, soft cloud, and I'm going to make it bigger. That's probably too big don't really know what I want to do here. I just know that I want to take some of this out. I get the edge sort of like that. Okay, now these are, this is sort of what you need to always think about with selections. It's not just selected and you know thank you uh I'm glad i got it selected or anything like that it's you have to be a little bit creative with what you're doing and see what you can come up with and that's kind of what we're doing here i wouldn't have normally done this in front of you but because it is a little bit different I'm going to go ahead and do it while you're looking. And 
we will save this one as well. Oh goodness, I, <laughs> I was, uh, I'll keep going now. I, I, I sort of, I didn't drift off. I, I got a message. I've got some food coming. And I got a message about it, and I had to look down at it. And while I was reading it, I just sort of forgot about you guys. So, um, but we're back on track, and I will edit that little uh, silent period. <laughs> Isn't it great that we can edit? And I don't know if I'm going to like the way this looks, but, you know, the thing about doing digital is it's all really okay and wonderful to experiment. Now, I'm going to save this one. We'll go to Select, Load Selection, um, no, Save Selection, and I'm going to call this Soft Background. And we'll say, OK. All right, so now we've saved uh, three different selections. And I will be back with the next setup in just a moment. Bye-bye.